Good morning, Chief Dave here. It's Wednesday the 21st of June. It's nice and early, it's nearly nine o'clock. Uh, Mod's off to work and uh, it's time for me to do my immigration and this time I'm going for the uh, O retirement visa which uh, will be for a year so this is just to let you know uh, how it goes with all my paperwork and uh, first I'm going to get a bit of breakfast because I've got to go to the bank and they don't home till 10 so I've got an hour to waste so uh, so that's it so you're looking forward to work, Mud? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Cheap guy bear. <laughs> Cheap guy bear, yeah. Okay, so we're up to road two. Mud's gonna do a U-turn somewhere up here. And then we're, uh, then I'm on my own for the, for the morning. So we're heading down road two towards John TM, just by the tower over there, the power tower. And just down here, we'll be coming up to the bus station. And that's where I'll be getting off. Okay, so Mud's dropped me off just by the bus station here. So I'll look for that bus. In fact, if we go and wait down by the bus station, it should be easier. There's a bad bus. Still on road two, maybe for John here. Just pulled off road two. Down towards the beach. Okay, so we're on Beach Road. Just dropped off by the bear bus. A little bit short of where I want to be. Only about 50 yards, so 
no problem. See the blue sign up ahead. That's where I'm heading. Let's have a look what we got along here. We got fish, chicken, and this. When I lived in John Tien, was one of the places I used to eat at quite a lot. Here yeah. we've got uh, fresh brawn, rice, fish, chicken wings, chicken legs, and pork. We come down here to Uh, down the wind out. Soy four. The soy five will be the immigration road. Also, just round the corner from here, we've got two girlies. So I'm going to stop, have a coffee, maybe a small breakfast. Here on the corner, we've got a large massage shop. Too early for them to open. And we come to Soy 5, where you see the sign up there. For the immigration, across the road just here. Around. Another sign up there, and just below it, you got the soy five. So up there, you can see probably another 50 yards up the road. We've got cheap Charlie's. chill, have a coffee and a small breakfast. We got Leo at 99 baht, Tiger at 99 baht. See how far up from the beach we are, just over the road. Uh, this building here is apartments, and I stayed. I stayed there for a few weeks uh, when I first got to John GM about a year ago. Basically, you got the haircut over the road. You've got some steps where the lady is in there. I don't know whether you can see it. And uh, that was the way up to my apartment. I've just had my coffee arrive at Deep Charlie's. Uh, ordered a small breakfast. The bill's there, 89 baht. So it's about two quid. Coffee and breakfast, so that's brilliant. And then we'll be heading off up to the bank to get my paperwork. There's the breakfast. Beans, tomatoes, bacon, sausage and egg. A bit of toast and a coffee. Okay, so that's cheap Charlie's. Uh, back our way up to side bank.
know some of the prices there. Okay. So the other end of this road, we've got immigration and the Bangkok Bank. So the plan is to go to the Bangkok Bank, get all the latest paperwork, then go to the photocopier, get copies of that. So I've got three full copies of my application. And then it's uh, time for Thai immigration. So, so we've just run through what we've gone through so far. We, uh, on the 12th of February, I arrived in Thailand from, Bang uh, from Vietnam. I, I then uh, got a 60 day uh, visa straight away, a tourist visa. Uh, that's gone down to 30 days now, but it was 60 days at the time. I then had to go to immigration and get a 30 day extension. That was followed by uh, a month later going back to immigration and getting my O visa uh, 90 day extension. So now I've got all my paperwork nearly, just got to go to the bank like I said. Uh, and uh, it's time, I've got a month left on my visa uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna head for immigration and see if they approve the paperwork and if that goes in, I've just gotta wait a little while uh, and uh, I'll have my one year old retirement visa. So that's the plan for this morning. It's just about 9.30 now. Bank opens at 10 o'clock. So uh, that's the plan. Okay, so three quarters of the way up, story five. See the big blue sign up there. Thai immigration. Looking fairly quiet at the moment. There's Thai immigration. And there's the sign. Okay, off to the bank. 942 just arrived at Bangkok Bank. They open in about 20 minutes. Get the paperwork and then uh, back to immigration. Okay, so it's now 10:37. Just finished at Bangkok Bank. Uh, Got all the paperwork, cost me 200 baht. That's for my bank statements and uh, proof of uh, my bank account. So now, off to photocopy shop. I'm going to make a full copy of, of uh, the paperwork I need and then I'm going to copy that two more times. So I'll have three full copies of everything I believe I need and we'll see what immigration say. OK, 
okay so that took about 15 minutes in the in the photocopy place and now I've hopefully got all of my paperwork here plus two spare copies so we're going to immigration just here and see what I've got missing Okay, so now it's 11.30, 11.30, just come out of Thai Immigration, uh, all that paperwork that I had was all in order, I just had to sign a few bits of paper that I hadn't signed, uh, probably in the queue for about 10 minutes, hello. Hello. And very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're in the queue for ten minutes, and then uh, when I sat with the lady, she went through all my documents. I had to re-sign a few, like I said, and uh, they took my passport. They took all the paperwork, so it's all accepted. Yes, yeah, so I've just got to come back on the 27th of July. Uh, I've got to come back tomorrow, pick my passport up. Uh, other than that, come back in uh, 22nd of July, something like that. And uh, pick up my uh, one year O visa for Thailand. So, couldn't have gone any smoother, any easier. Uh, well pleased. I'm just going to head back down to Cheap Charlie's and grab a beer. Then uh, make my way uh, back to the condo. So, totally successful day. As long as you've got everything uh, organised and uh, all the right paperwork, uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, the majority of the paperwork come from the uh, three month O visa that I, uh, I just got, I'm still on. So, uh, so yeah, well pleased, all done, and uh, I've got this month to go and then uh, another full year. So, no one's more surprised than me. Uh, I think it was easy because it was all the same paperwork that I used for uh, the, the three month visa. So basically it was just copying all that. So yeah, off to Cheap Charlie's, have a celebratory drink because uh, I did everything in one morning. So it's getting on towards 12 o'clock. Started out in the condo at nine so uh, oh one year retirement visa totally sorted all in uh, getting on three hours and uh, obviously I gotta come back there was uh, 1900 baht uh, fee for the visa uh, I spent 200 at the bank for the statements and the letter, so uh, 200 there. Uh, in the copying shop, I didn't need three copies; I only needed the one copy. But so now I've got two spare copies of uh, my application that I didn't need. Uh, the copying cost me around 200 baht, so. With the travelling backwards and forwards, uh, photocopying, breakfast, cheap Charlie's, a beer, and uh, the visa, I probably spent around 3,000 baht in total. So uh, if you're a bit worried about uh, doing it yourself, just take a look at my previous videos and then. Uh, um, You'll see uh, the paperwork needed and uh, what to do. 
so uh, that'll be it from this video except I'll show you cheap Charlie's uh, and the beach and my journey home but that'll be it for the visa part of it so like I say over the moon first time everything's gone good at immigration for me uh, people were really nice I did take my walking stick along with me so uh, they were all willing to help me quite quickly so that's good that's a bit of advice if uh, if you're getting on like me first time I've been uh, been out further than uh, my favourite 7-Eleven in uh, Pratumnak first time I've been out since uh, I was ill so uh, so yeah doing all right furthest I've been just got to get the bus back to Pratumnak and walk down the hill back to the condo so that'll be my day so very uh, constructive day well pleased and uh, here we come Food as far as the beach the cheap Charlie's over here and that's where I'm going to sit down and have a beer right so I've just got back to my apartment my condo uh, this is what they give me at immigration so we'll go a little bit closer so you can have a read these are all the rules and regulations you need to co be covered by uh, this is a page that she gave me uh, I've got to go back tomorrow to pick up my passport and then uh, I think I have to go back around the 22nd to pick up my uh, to get my passport stamped again and then basically I'll have a year's a year's uh, retirement o visa uh, just having to go back every three months to get uh, get a stamp banged in to, uh, I think that only takes a few minutes when you're in there uh, but today has been a really good day okay so just going to do a little summary of today where I applied for my one year O visa uh, just to let you know now so you don't have to watch it all all very successful all went smoothly and uh, all seemed very easy it all started around 9 o'clock this morning Might give me a lift up to road 2 on the way to work uh, I jumped on the bar bus, went to Cheap Charlie's, had a very nice uh, small breakfast and a coffee. Walked up to the bank, I had to wait half an hour outside the bank uh, until they opened, 10 o'clock. Uh, got in the bank, I was number three in the queue, and then number two came up and one of the local agents that uh, has got about five or six passports jumped in the queue in front of me don't know how he did it but uh, he seemed to be there a while at least 20 minutes where I should have been in and gone but uh, yeah so I was in and out of the bank got that sorted with the paperwork from the bank which has to be done on the day of uh, application then from the bank went to the photocopiers just next door to immigration and uh, I had three full copies of all the paperwork I need uh, including my bank details which I've just picked up they were straight around to immigration uh, walked into their new little building that they've got uh, very nice air conditioning so you're not standing out in the heat all for, for an hour or two uh, young lady there went and got me a number and I went into the main building and uh, sat in the queue 
only two people in front of me. I was uh, called up and uh, the lady went through all the paperwork which I showed you in my previous video and all of that paperwork that I had, I think I had a couple of bits that I didn't need but uh, I've got it just in case uh, but basically everything I showed you on the last video if you've got that then uh, it went straight through the system she uh, had me sign a few bits of a few of my documents I hadn't signed and then uh, basically she said come back tomorrow put your passport up and uh, and then come back to give me another date uh, to come back to uh, do my three month signing I think it is so hopefully I'll uh, go tomorrow get my passport job it might have the stamp in for the one year visa I don't know wait and see but uh, yeah couldn't have gone any smoother couldn't have gone any better uh, Went back to Cheap Charlie's and had a quick point, and then uh, even got a uh, chance for Mud to come and pick me up from Cheap Charlie's and, and bring me back to to the condo. So uh, yeah, couldn't have gone any smoother. So I'm just going to chill out now, relax, maybe watch a bit of TV, and uh, go and have a nice, uh, quiet, relaxing point down there. Uh, down the chicken hut later. Yeah, so like I was saying, it cost me 1,900 the cost of the visa, uh, outside costs, uh, basically uh, the bank charged me a couple of hundred uh, baht for, for uh, giving me the confirmation letter that I'm a member of Bangkok Bank and a statement over the last six months. Uh, I went to the photocopy place and got a couple of copies of uh, all the paperwork that I was submitting to to uh, immigration because I wanted to keep one spare copy and usually they take two copies. Uh, they didn't, so now I've got two copies of uh, paperwork uh, for the one year visa which I don't really require but uh, I've got just in case and that cost me 200, just over two, about 210, 220 for that uh, for all the copies because there's a lot of paperwork uh, but it all uh, all went very smoothly in immigration uh, didn't have any issues there uh, then a little walk back down to the bar and another beer and I had breakfast on the way up so I reckon in total it's cost me getting on 3,000 baht in total which you're probably looking at uh, 70, 80 pounds English uh, well pleased how it's all gone today uh, couldn't have been any easier uh, so I'm paying somewhere around 70 pounds English 3,000 bahts Thai uh, to get my one year visa and that's everything including my breakfast and my beer at the end uh, I think that's fairly good uh, I know that I've saved around four or five hundred pounds at least uh, by not using an agent uh, I think the agents uh, an easy way so if you've got a lot of dosh and it don't matter uh, just deal with them but if you've got uh, a morning free and you've got all this paperwork that I've showed you uh, that's the cheap way to get yourself uh, a one year O visa, retirement visa for Thailand. So, hope this has been helpful to someone at least. Uh, 
I was expecting a fail today and, and uh, having to go back, but it's all gone smoothly. So that'll be it from this video. So please like, subscribe, uh, press the bell, do whatever you got to do. Uh, I'm up for a beer down the chicken hut in a, in a little while. And uh, I'll be back with some more junk uh, over the next few days. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I think this is going to be a little bit longer video than I normally put out. Uh, but if you're interested in getting your own visa, it's worth a little watch just to uh, see how well I found it quite easy, how easy it is. Uh, so probably worth a watch if you're actually looking to do your own visa.